Hello, in this session we will look at the Terraform module components that we have. So whenever we talk about your Terraform module, it is simply a directory, a single directory with a collection of .tf files like for example over here or it will be your .tf or JSON which you are writing the code in the JSON format and this will be in a single directory. All right. So here for example, this can be considered as your Terraform module. Now, the modules are the main way for us to package and reuse the resource configurations with Terraform. So, once again, like I said in the previous sessions, your Terraform module is simply uh, a way for us to reuse our configuration files and to package our configurations with your Terraform. Now, the Terraform module consists of different components that we can use when we are writing the module. So, we have the root module. We have the child module and then we have the published modules. So let's talk about each of this uh, one by one a little more in detail. So uh, let's look at the root module first. So every Terraform configuration has at least one module known as the root module. So until now we have been working with your Terraform module. It's just that we did not discuss about it. So whenever you end up writing your .tf files within a single directory, we can consider that as a Terraform module. So this consists of the resources defined in the .tf files in the main working directory. So for example, once again here, if you see, so we have the .tf files within the main working directory. So this is considered as your root module. Basically root module is the one which uh, is doing the actual work for us the, the actual logic the main logic is defined that is what we call it as your root module then we have the uh, child module now the child module is basically calling the root module so whenever we want to execute the the root module we make use of your child module for that so a terraform module which is usually the root module of a configuration can call other modules to include their resources into the configuration so whenever we are calling the root module we make use of this child module to um, call the root module and create the resources for us so a module that has been called by another module is often referred to as a child module so here this is how we will be defining the module block so here if you can see we are using the module keyword we are using a local name so this is how we call a module block and then here we are making use of this source to specify the root module that uh, we want to use to create the infrastructure to create the resources so we will be looking at an example for this uh, in the upcoming sessions so child modules can be called multiple times within the same configuration and multiple configuration can use the same child module so I can define this multiple uh, mo module block multiple times just make sure we are using a different local name so maybe you have you might have a requirement to create the infrastructure multiple times like multiple resources or in different different regions then you can call this module multiple times then we have the published modules now one way we can work with the Terraform modules is locally meaning we can define the root module on the local machine and then we can call this on the local machine itself. The other way we have is our published modules. So in addition to modules from the local file system, so whatever we are seeing over here, this is a local file system. So you see the dot slash and then the uh, directory name. So this means the uh, module, the root module is available on the local machine itself. Now. Uh, this is fine if you are uh, you know single developer if or if only you are going to use that module but what if you are working in a team and you want to share your module with other people or with other developers so that's where your published modules comes into the picture so in addition to modules from the local file system terraform can load modules from a public or private registry meaning you can maintain a centralized repository where you can maintain all of your modules and then people can start uh, calling those modules from these repository. Now we can have either public registry or your private registry. So at an organization level, we will always end up with a private registry. 
So this makes it possible to publish the modules for others to use. So published modules are mainly used when you want to share your modules with other people. So, so that you know they can also start using your code to set up that infrastructure and to use the modules that others have published. So the Terraform registry hosts a broad collection of publicly available Terraform modules for configuring many kind of common infrastructure. So, so here if you look at the Terraform registry, we should be able to see the modules and when we go to the modules here, for example, if you see we have a module for the VPC. So when I click on this, uh, I should be able to see the module block, an example as to how I can make use of this module. So here if you can see, we are having the uh, module block and then that's a local name and then the source. So basically. Uh, the the resources or the actual code which will do the work for us so all we have to do is uh, just define this piece of code to create a vpc for us now we don't have to worry about the uh, resource blocks for the vpc the internet gateway the nat gateway and everything everything will be taken care of by this module and if you look at this source code over here this is where the actual code the the main code is defined. So if you look at this main.tf file, so this is where you should be able to see the resource block. So here you can see we are creating a VPC, then we are creating the CIDR block, that's the security group. So this is the one that is actually doing the work for us. All right. Now what we are doing is we are just reusing this code by making use of your modules. All right. So this is a published module, meaning anyone can make use of this so like this at an organization level also we can create a common piece of code we can publish it and then anyone can start calling that whenever they want to create that infrastructure instead of they having to write the code from the scratch so these modules are free to use and terraform can download them automatically if you specify the appropriate source and version in a module called block so Whatever we are seeing over here, these uh, modules that you see, these are free, these are public. So anyone can use them, you don't have to pay any money. Um, uh, you can go ahead and start calling this whenever you want to create the infrastructure. And then based on the source, so this source is very important. So this is what uh, tells Terraform where the actual code is available, where the main code is available. So that is very important and also the version that you want to use. So these are basically the components that we have for your Terraform modules. Uh, that's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.